conventional code that you use to tell yourself every day? My family. Those are the people that I use to motivate myself every time. Uh, they see me as everything. For my younger brother, they see me as a role model. So because of that, I used to keep moving mm -hmm. every day. My name is Oladejo Ali Olabayonle. I'm from Nigeria. So I'm a student here in Malaysia doing a PhD. Likewise, I'm doing a part time teaching at Fuji. When you meet Mr. Ali, you're instantly charmed by his story. He's a 36 year old Nigerian citizen who moved here six years ago with his wife and two children. But what makes his story particularly inspiring is his part-time teaching job at Fuji School, but also to support his family. Uh, the young girls, I mean, the young kids uh, can impact their life positively. You know, many of them, they find themselves lost uh, in Malaysia as a refugee because they don't have access to education here, I mean, the public school. so. This, what I'm doing there is to impart their life positively to share my experience to them. At least they can remember me forever, wherever they are, later on. <laughs> and his dedication to Fuji School has started since 2018. He's been teaching there as a math teacher. Uh, specializing in statistics for refugee students in grades 7 to 9. And you can see this passion for teaching is so very evident. 200 plus 60 is going to be what? Plus 60? 90% of well, people, they don't like math. So that is their mindset. So we need to change the mindset. We need to let them realize that this subject is not that difficult. So when you know it, I used to tell my student that, you know, math if you know it now, you don't have to prepare so much when doing the exam. You only need to practice. So you don't have to memorize anything. It's about practice. As you can see, the number at the middle up is what? It's 11, right? So it's not that easy teaching online compared with the physical class because you know the students, even you are teaching them physically, you still face some challenges, not less of teaching them offline, I mean online. Many of them, they also have their own disturbances at their house, so a lot of distraction. So we have to double the effort in order for them to uh, be able to understand what we have been uh, really teaching them. So after that, you have to simplify. So when you simplify, you see 25. Minus 2 h plus 2 s becomes 0. So that's why this one we have to infer. So it's equal to 3 s plus 10 x plus 2 s on the right side. So when you simplify, This is your whole class? Yeah, actually, class. all of them are not in my class. Oh. Your friends, we, we are friends as your friends. We, we oh. finish together. Do you ever feel homesick? Like of course, definitely. You know, there is no place like home. Luckily for us, you know, because of the technology that we have now, so we can speak to them on video call, all those stuff. Because of that, I, I think I used to, I mean, I make it balanced. This, oh yeah, this is my fourth year in the university, so I went to for IT. So I also remember, you know, we also have a mentality from our parent part in Nigeria, in Africa, let me put it that way. When they have a child, they will like their child. They only understand, I think, only two major professions, like that is medicine and engineering. So before they realize, oh, we also have so many other courses that all of us cannot become a doctor, all of us cannot become an engineer. So you have to, we, are, we still have so many other courses. So that is why I changed my mind to study environmental science. So, and that is what I'm also doing here in my PhD. I don't really enjoy this part of the but <laughs> actually this is being done for one month. One month? One month in, 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 in a camp. Out of, out of one year, so we do this for 
almost uh, let me say four weeks. Four weeks. Wow. So even wow. where I did my I don't even know this name. So now when you add together, when you simplify, it's going to be 3x, right? 3x plus 3. Now let's just try it together. We will just want to use 24 as an example, okay? It can be any number. Everything is over. How do you relieve your stress? I used to watch movie, at least to free my mind. So there is a movie I can watch three times in a day. They call it Three Idiots. Uh, so, you know, because it's also dealing with education, I used to play football as well. So that is another thing that I used to relax whenever I overwork. Who is this? Who is this? This is, you know, we are still doing online class. Mm. Maybe this physical. Yeah. So normally log in here. Yeah. Uh, uh, so but now I log in already. I see myself uh, in the next five years, Canada or Australia, by God grace. You want to finish us? I have some well, student here, refugee, now in Canada already, so they we used to communicate. Even they are not in Malaysia, I'm not their teacher anymore. But because of the uh, the friendly, I used to be friendly with them. I don't see them because they used to talk to me anytime they want, even weekends. So I know many of them. They used to remember me with my friendly attitude towards all of them. Bye, sir.